Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing this awesome mosaic stitch. I know you guys love color like I do. So I'm gonna grab a worsted color, worsted weight yarn. I've got these two today um, from Paint Box Yarns from uh, Love Crafts. And I'm gonna start with the blue today, I think. So we're gonna place a slip knot on our hook. The um, mosaic uh, brick pattern is very easy. It's all stitches you know, and we can do this together. I have a K size hook. This is an Edamo hook. As always, the um, items are linked in the description below. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're doing a multiple of four. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24 is what I want to do today to make this swatch. This is a great swatch for a jacket or a baby blanket or a cool scarf. You could make a man's scarf, especially with this stitch. It's very geometric as is all or most mosaic stitches are very geometric in shape. So this stitch pattern is um, mostly double crochets and spaces. So after we have our beginning chain 24 for this swatch, a multiple of four, we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the loop, from the hook, and in each chain across, we are single crocheting. And while I'm doing that, I'd like to take the opportunity to welcome my new subscribers. Please subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit the notifications bell. There's also an opportunity for people to uh, become channel members by joining the channel, and you can look into those details underneath the video as a little join rectangle. So we are single crocheting. I like to single crochet in this back bump, back ridge, so that the front um, the leftover unused loops makes a very pretty usable chain at the bottom of the swatch. So this first two rows are very basic, so I'm going to zip on ahead. At the end of the first row, we're going to single crochet in the last stitch, chain one and turn, and single crochet again all the way for the second row and this sets up our foundation and we'll get started on the pattern stitch on row three. So single cro crochet one stitch for one stitch for the remainder of the second row. As usual I like to have my finished swatch in one set of colors. These are also paint box yarn colors. Um, it's the Simply Erin style. And then I like to make my swatch on camera in a different set of colors so that you can see how it looks in a different color. So as we're finishing row two, we're gonna change colors in the final stitch of row two by yarning over, pulling up a loop. We're gonna drop the blue and pick up the lavender. Yarning over with the lavender, pull through that stitch and get the tension correct. And we will chain one and turn. Now, as we begin truly working in the mosaic style now, we're gonna single crochet in each of the first three stitches. One, two, three. Now this is unusual, here's the unusual part. We're gonna chain two, but we're gonna only skip one. We'll skip one stitch and chain two. And then we will single crochet in the next one, two, three. Chain two, one, two, skip, just one. Single crochet, one, two, three. Chain two, skip one stitch, the one between my thumbs, and single crochet in the next one, two, three. Maybe I should move this swatch so you can see a little better. Thank you for joining with me, friends. I totally love crochet. You guys know I do um, because crochet is such a relaxing and valuable use of time. You don't have to feel guilty about crocheting. You get a fun and functional creative project when you're done. And if you don't, <laughs> you have a good uh, time spent productively. So we end row three with three single crochets. Now we're doing two rows of each color, so I'm going to chain one and turn 
and work another row of the lavender. We're going to work one, two, three, one in each of the th first three stitches. And then over that chain two gap, I'm going to chain two, skip that space and single crochet in each of the next three, one, two, three single crochets. Okay, see where we are? So we're just stacking another row on top of the previous row. Those first two single crochet rows will be repeated later, so stay tuned for that. But we are truly in the heart of the mosaic brick pattern at this point. So chain two, skip that chain two space, single crochet in the next three. One, two, three. I know you all have a yearning for color work projects. So at the end of this video, I will put a card for you that links you to my um, explanation of color work styles and crochet. So we're doing two rows of each color and it is a clue when we get to the end of the row where our tail is hanging of the previous color that it's time to change colors. That way we have these floats working up the side of the work. That's a float right here where it floats up the side and we'll keep that tension nice and comfortable so that it does not pucker and um, then we'll just let the purple hang and leave it there and let it hang as if it doesn't exist. And then we'll pick it up again when we need it. Okay, so in the next row, we are going to chain one and turn. Keep working, start working with the blue now. So we will do one, two, three. Um, uh, no, I'm sorry. Go back, go back, go back back two stitches. We're going to do one single crochet. Now we're going to chain two, skip how many stitches? Stitches? Just one. Single crochet in the next one. And this section will be repeated. So we'll single crochet and then over this ch these chain two gaps, we're working over them and into the stitch between my thumbs on the blue row. So we're working three rows down into the single crochet working over the top of those chain loops by double crocheting a long double crochet into that space. Okay, pull up and double crochet right over the top. Then we're do not doing anything more with that chain two space, but instead we're doing a single crochet in the next single crochet. We're chaining two, skipping one stitch, single crocheting in this next stitch. So we're creating the chain two ladder gap that'll be used for subsequent rows. So when we get to this uh, little ladder of chain two stacked on top of each other, it's time to do the long double crochet into the chain, I'm sorry, into the single crochet that's between my two thumbs on the blue row right there. So again, slowly yarning over the blue, inserting the hook down here in this blue stitch that was unused, yarning over, pulling that yarn through the fabric, finishing the double crochet with a yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So take this opportunity to show you that it's a reversible, it's a reversible pattern. It looks great on the front and the back. So when we do the double crochet around those stitches, instead of just working it in the front or back, that's what creates the uh, reversibility of it. Single crochet in the next stitch, chain two, skip one, single crochet in the next single crochet, long double crochet into the blue. Um, the blue in this case would be considered color A, and the lavender in this case would be considered color B if you are reading a pattern. So according to our swatch, um, the blue is equating to the dark fuchsia and the lavender is equating to the pale pink. Okay, I love playing with color and they show up so beautifully on camera, don't you think? And matches my blue nails today. Thank you for my blue nails. My girl Mara gave me blue nails with this China Glaze sparkly hollow polish. At the end, we've got three stitches left. We're single crocheting, chain two, skip one, single crochet in the last one. Now, is it time to change color? 
You tell me, it's a little quiz, pop quiz. No, not yet, because our purple tail is over here yet, waiting for us to pick it up. So we need to get back over there, and we're doing two rows of each color. So chain one and turn. So for this row, we will continue with the blue with a single crochet in the first stitch, chain two, skip that chain two gap, skip that chain two space, skip it, and work a single crochet in the next three stitches. Okay, so we only do that long double crochet every couple of rows, but we place the chain two spaces on every row. Right now we're stacking them, one on top of the other. Here was one and here's another one, stacking them, setting us up to change color for the long double crochets in purple on the next row. So much fun. Such a rhythmic and uh, fun, easy, um, a little bit one step above beginner, but totally doable, you totally can do this. And I am glad to help you on your crochet journey to push your skills a little bit more and have fun with color. Okay, we're at the end of this row. This is our second row of blue, and the purple is down here dangling, waiting for us to pick it up. So we're just going to grab it and pull it up to the level of the blue, yarn over and pull through the blue, leaving the blue to dangle. I did tighten it up just a little bit to keep the gauge, but um, I'm not going to pull it too tight because we don't want it to pucker. Chain one and turn give myself a little more slack with the purple. As we get on to this exciting long double crochet row for the purple now. So you can see the floats here of the unused blue and purple as they're carried up the side. And those will get covered up with an edging if you edge your scarf or project or blanket or sweater or dishcloth or whatever you make. A dishcloth would be excellent for this pattern, but you'd have to use it in cotton instead of acrylic. These are acrylic yarns. You could also make a hot pad for a hot pan on this lovely um, piece, but again, not acrylic. Needs to be wool or cotton. Okay, here we go. So single crochet in the first stitch. Now, as we're seeing these chain two spaces stacked on top of each other, that is our clue to yarn over, insert the hook two rows, three rows below into that unused single crochet of the color we're currently working on. Yarn over, pull up a loop yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook, skipping those chain two spaces, not doing anything more with them, single crochet in the next stitch, chain two, single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so we're creating the ladder for the next time. Let's do another long double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook. So we want this yarn over double crochet, long double crochet to be long enough that it does not um, squeeze the fabric. Like if I take this apart and do it much tighter, you would pucker the fabric. So we need to make it not tight. We're not creating a bow here. We're not squinching it. <laughs> we need to give it enough looseness and relaxation that it just sits nicely without pulling. Okay, so nice and flat. Okay, single crochet in the next. And these are the rows that we are repeating. I am going to skip ahead on the video and let you just see where we are. As we are at the end of this row, we're going to change color over to the blue. I'm sorry, I dropped the loop. Start the single crochet and finish it with the other color. So if you love this crochet color work, this mosaic stitch, please check out the uh, card up here in the corner because that is the mosaic box stitch. So I will see you in the next video.